fans of Raider Nation rose to the challenge and helped select Gavin McCarney's 31-yard game-winning touchdown pass to Brian Lolly in a 28-24 win at Holy Cross as the Twitter fan vote play of the year. The senior quarterback, who was last year's fan vote winner for the McCarney Leap, was at it again, and this time he had some help. And both he and Brian join us now via Skype to talk about the Twitter fan vote play of the year. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? So first of all, congratulations on winning the fan vote play of the year. Let's follow the play's progression and start with Gavin. How did that play develop and was Brian your first option? Um, well, we had, uh, I think we had about four minutes left. Uh, you know, we were taking our time a little bit. Um, and, you know, uh, I think I had a scramble um, to get a first down. And, you know, we got right back in the ball. Um, and they, you know, the play was called. And, you know, they were sitting in a, a too high, a too high look. And, uh, you know, I knew, you know, with the route combination we had, uh, Brian would have been matched up against a linebacker on, a, you know, on a double move. So uh, that was obviously my first look. And, you know, he made a, he, he ran a great route and, you know, he was open. I just put it up there and, you know, I knew he was going to get it. And uh, it was just, you know, it was a great finish. Brian, can you talk about your route and how you were able to get behind the Holy Cross defenders for the clutch touchdown grab? Yeah, like Gavin mentioned, it was a, it was a good play call for the, the time of the game. The defense was in the too high look, and we knew we'd be able to get uh, the middle of the field open. Um, I just ran the route, put a move on the linebacker, and uh, just kind of got myself in position to make a play. And fortunately, Gavin was, uh, I mean, playing with Gavin is, is it's special because he makes everyone around him better. He put the ball perfectly uh, up in the air for me, allowed me to make an easy catch and score. There were a few things that made it possible for that play to happen, and one of them was a goal line stand by your defense. Talk about how big it was for Mike Armiento to pick off that pass in the end zone. Um, that's huge. Uh, you know, he was making plays all year. Um, he's, you know, he's a tremendous, uh, tremendous defensive player who, you know, he came here as a quarterback. So it's, uh, it was funny. I played with him freshman year, um, but he, uh, you know, he made plays all year, and that was huge for us. Uh, you know, they were going into score to go up uh, a, a two possessions there, um, and you know, he made plays all year for us, and that was just huge. It, it was kind of a swing of momentum, um, you know, late in the game, and you know, I think we just fed off that as an offense. And Gavin, the play right before the touchdown was a 28-yard scramble. How big was that run, and did you feel like it set up your team to take the downfield shot? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, you know, the, the play was it was a pass call play, obviously, um, and uh, you know, the the offense line held up well. Um, and I just, you know, I saw a crease and I, I knew I just want to, you know, take off, get some yards, get a first down and, you know, move the ball and move the chains. And, you know, I was able to scramble for a little bit more than I thought I was going to get. Um, and, you know, that's why we, I think we got right back on the ball and, um, you know, had that play called right after just to just to take a deep shot since we had some time left. Well, thank you guys for taking time out of your schedules to join us. But I can't let you go yet because we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you about Coach Dick Biddle. With Coach retiring after 18 years in Hamilton, we'd love to hear from each of you on what Coach Biddle has meant to you during your time at Colgate. Yeah, I mean, in my, in my two short years here, I've gotten uh, the opportunity to play under Coach Biddle. And as far as football is concerned, he's amongst, I mean, the top, top in the country as far as coaches go. He, uh, his, his way of connecting with his players as far as um, installing a, a, f a form of discipline amongst the team and, and really having a, like preaching toughness about the toughness of football and, and uh, things like that. It's, it's a really a tremendous opportunity and privilege for me to play under him. It's a, we're sad to see him go, but we, uh, we're looking forward to a bright future. We know uh, Coach Hunts can do a great job replacing him and uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, um, you know, obviously playing under Coach Biddle has been, uh, it's been a great opportunity. You know, he gave me the chance to uh, continue my, uh, my playing career in college. Um, you know, I thank him for that all the time. Um, but, you know, just playing under him, like Brian said, you know, he just he's insti he instills this, um, you know, this type of this type of attitude within his players. Um, you know, I think if you ask a lot of people, you know, how Colgate football is, it's, you know, toughness is one of the one of the words they use. Um, and he's just, you know, he's been a great inspiration uh, for me. I've, you know, I've created a great friendship with him um, that, you know, I'll carry on for the rest of my life. But, uh, you know, I just wish him the best. Um, I know him and his wife are you know, going to be moving out of Hamilton um, closer to their family, uh, his his kids. So. Um, I just wish him the best, and um, I, I hope to see him in the near future. Well, thank you guys so much. Congratulations again, and have a great holiday break. Thank you. Thanks. You too.